Um, the other thing that I've seen is that, you know, two years, you know, uh, the last two years, people have not done inspections, they've waived it. Well, now those people are selling and they're getting caught with the things like the sewer scope um, and they're the ones who are replacing the, um, the, sewer, the sewer line as a seller. So, as a buyer, just whether you use me or someone else, just make sure that you always do the inspection. Yeah, and that comes back to the partnership. Like, I need to give you yeah. mass kudos for that because yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. And I think that there's a lot that you know as an agent that, you know, buyers just don't know. Right. And that is why you, you know, I hear a lot of buyers go, well, I'm just going to look on my own, thinking that you could save money. Yeah. Well, first of all, you need to keep in mind that the seller is the one that pays the commission. The buyer does not. And realtors are way in gold because mm -hmm. of things like you're talking about. Yeah and making sure that all your contract deadlines are followed, adhered to, right. that all the legal you know, stuff is all worked right. out, and that you're protecting them with their earnest money, not losing their earnest money, Correct. and just following your advice. So like, I'm a huge advocate of people using an agent um, you have to. on There's, their side. Yeah, yeah. just the Colorado's laws are so strict, and you know, that's what we went to school for, and that's what we study, and that's where, you know, if I don't know the answer, I've got people I can go ask. Mm -hmm. And so that's really, really important. Um, not to mention, um, you know, when you've got the seller who hires an agent here to sell their house, that agent works for the seller. If you come in without an agent, that agent is still working for the seller, and then you don't, you don't have anybody representing you. So you really need to have a buyer's agent over here for you so that you make sure that you're taken care of and you're covered. Otherwise, the seller and the listing agent, they, they don't necessarily need to, to inform you of anything. So that's just, that's really protect important. yourself. So protect important. yourself for sure. I agree. Yeah, whenever people ask me real estate questions, I'm like, I'm a lender, I plead the fifth. Like, <laughs> I don't know. I really don't know, you know. So, um, really, um, I, I, that's just, I don't know. <laughs> right, right. Well, and, and I did work just for years, years and years and years ago. Uh -huh. And I know enough about the language and the lingo that I could talk to any lender and they understand that I'm not one of those agents who doesn't understand. Yes. Um, you just, I've been in both shoes before. And so, um, you know, you got to keep that in mind. That helps with the partnership that we were talking about before with, with the lender and the realtor. Yeah, that's so, good to have both, yeah. like, of that knowledge base because that's super important. No, oh, well, because yes. you can talk to me and I understand what you're saying and, you know, mm -hmm. etc. Right. And I know what you've told the buyer because mm -hmm. I understand what you told them. True. You know. So, is there anything else you kind of want to talk about today? I you know really not. One thing I I don't know why this came up in my head when we were talking. You said you know what I'm talking about, and, and vice versa. <laughs> the reason why is because sometimes I think that the the mortgage lingo could be like a different language than real estate. Yeah. And I think we use a lot of acronyms in our business. We do. And I think that there are lenders out there and and agents that maybe use a lot of acronyms, and the buyers feel silly to ask the question like, what does that mean? Right. And so I, I try not to use the acronyms like DTI. What does that mean? Well, debt to income ratio. Right. But but why is it important? You know, it's important. But right. But I, you know, that's one thing. If you are with a, a lender and you hear these acronyms and they don't make any sense to you, then you know, honestly, speak up and ask. And it, it just made me think like. You know, you just want to be educated the whole way. And if you're feeling lost because there's certain verbiage thrown around, um, just speak up and ask. Yeah. Because we are guilty of using the, the shortened versions of certain words. And I, I could be guilty of that now and then. I try to be very aware of not doing that with my buyers. But but guilty sometimes, yeah. for sure. <laughs> Perfect. Well, thanks so much for joining us today. And if you have any questions, feel free uh, to give either one of us a call. Um, you can text... Uh, email, whatever works for you. Have a wonderful day and thanks for joining us. Bye. Bye.